So we're in the middle of August, which means we're in need of another episode of the best Nova Launcher setups. Today is episode 16, so let's cut straight to the chase. So first up is Randell's setup, a very clean, very minimal home screen design that will please those of you who like to keep things ultra clean. Starting with that wallpaper, for me, this is the main attraction of this setup, primarily because of that strong color contrast from the desaturated blues of the ocean, which then makes that red boat in the middle just pop in this image. Not always would this sort of an image work within a setup, but with the placement of the widgets and icons around the home screen, this wallpaper works really well. Up the top there, we have a day, date, and time widget. This one comes from the Huck for KWGT widget pack. I really like the simplicity of this widget's design, and I think it complements the backdrop quite well. As always, I've got that set up to launch into the calendar application upon tapping it, but again, you could set that up to launch into any application of your choosing. Down the bottom, we have a row of six application icons. These are using icons from the flight icon pack. There is also a light version of this icon pack available, which is free in case you want to try before you buy, but it is limited in the amount of themed icons it has available. As for the app drawer, we've actually got just about every application categorized into a range of different folders, which keeps things very clean and minimal, just like the rest of the home screen. But aside from that, it's a great looking setup, definitely one to keep in mind for future use. Next, we have a very clinical looking home screen setup sent in from Anjai. Lots of customization baked into this one. So let's see what the setup involves. Again, starting with that wallpaper, this one comes directly from Unsplash and it will of course be linked below. And although it's quite bright, which may not be everyone's cup of tea, I do really like how he's contrasted the white of the sky and the building with those dark widget boxes on the right. Before we get to those boxes, up the top, we have a really interesting looking Google search bar widget. Now I'm not 100% sure where this comes from, although NGI did send it through directly, so I will link that below. But if you recognize this widget, let me know in the comments and I'll link the app below as well. Coming back to those black boxes underneath, and this is actually a combination of two separate widgets. The first three boxes are all contained in the first widget and the bottom three contained in a second widget. For the boxes above, here we have a clock and date widget up the top, a weather location widget below that, followed by a calendar and date widget below that. I've set each of these widgets up to launch into the clock, the frog weather shortcut, and the calendar when tapping on them respectively. So definitely a nice bit of functionality available with these widgets here. The three boxes below are just plain black boxes, and these serve as backdrops that the three rows of four application icons can sit on. These application icons again come from the Flight Light icon pack, which looks really great in combination with everything else in this setup. So this home screen is not only appealing to look at, but as I said, it also has some great functionality as well. Swiping up and into the app drawer, you can see things are kept in line with the design of the home screen. We've got that rich black background, which contrasts nicely with the white application icons, but that's just about it for this setup, a unique and visually attractive one that I like a lot. So before we move on to the third setup, I wanted to quickly mention today's sponsor, Knox Cleaner. So Knox Cleaner is a lightweight and efficient application designed to both clean and boost the performance of your Android device. The process of doing so is fast and easy to control. All you do is launch the app, tap on scan, and then within a few quick seconds, you'll be presented with a range of easy options to clear your device's storage. I was able to remove 400 megabytes with just the click of a button using this method alone. From there, there's also a deep clean option, and this is where the application can actually clean out the junk of both the WhatsApp and line messaging applications, which is really convenient and can save a heap of space instantly. To take things a stage further, jumping into the RAM management portion of the application, and here you can accelerate your phone's performance by optimizing the applications currently running in the background. After doing so, you can actually then tap on deep acceleration, and this will take the optimization to another level altogether to really make your device as fast and efficient as it can be. The app also includes a photo management feature as well as CPU cooling when your device reaches a certain temperature. And more than that, the design is really clean and intuitive to use and there are no annoying ads whatsoever. So if you're looking for an easy way to free up valuable storage space on your phone or for a quick solution to improving the overall performance of your device, then check out the link down in the description below to download this amazing app for free. Now onto the third setup. So finally today we have Joel's three page setup, a really functional and visually appealing setup to look at. So let's dive in and check out what he's done to pull this off. So that wallpaper comes from the backdrops application. This one is a lot more subdued than the previous and it works really well in conjunction with the dark theme that's been applied here. 
Up the top on the first page, we have a day, time, battery percentage, and weather widget. And this comes from the Trident 3 for Zupa widget pack. And I quite like the simplicity of this widget. It works really well on this particular backdrop. And of course, I've again set it up to trigger the calendar application when tapping on it. Our dock at the bottom of each of the home pages is a row of seven application icons. These are using icons from the Quantum Dots icon pack, which I really like the look of. And it's sitting on a faded white dock background, which gives the dock a nice distinction from the rest of the home screen space. Over to the left and we have two widgets on this second page, the month calendar widget up the top and a weather widget down below, which comes from the today weather application. Moving over to the third page on the right, and this one is quite clean and minimal, just eight icons down the bottom right in a staggered formation, which looks really cool. Up the top of four application icons, and below that we have four folders, each of which has a range of different applications, which you of course could customize to your heart's content. Aside from that, swiping into the app drawer, and you can see this is very much a stock layout here. Nothing too groundbreaking, but it does the job. And that's it for this setup. Once again, another really visually appealing yet functional setup, which I'm sure you guys will enjoy using on your own devices. But that is it for this episode. Don't forget to let me know which of the setups in today's episode was your favorite and why down in the comments below. And if you wanna load any of these setups onto your own devices, then all of the necessary assets will be linked down in the notes below. As always, if you wanna have your own setup featured in this series, then make sure you check out the submission video below. But aside from that, thank you guys very much for watching and I will catch you later.